Hello and welcome. Today we continue the Dice Psycho game and we have stopped uh, previous time I have finished the story for the girl number three. Now we will go for the girl number four. My result was four, huh? Four. It can't be said to be good or bad, a perfectly average result. But life is in the end all about results, so there is nothing to be praised about it. Games like other things don't mean anything if I don't win. There is no meaning in loss. I could only watch what with sullen eyes as wealth and success slipped out of my grasp. Fourth eye. That girl obsessed with the numbers. With a desire for revenge seething deep in her chest. Guiding you to the climax. Now the die is cast. The fourth roll. My name is Metaro. I'm just a normal second year student attending a private high school. I don't have any particular skills and my grades are merely average. I'm one of those people who are lacking in personality and individuality. Speaking of which, right now my classmates are wrecking their heads over their career paths after graduation. We're still second years though. I think it's a bit early to be thinking about our future. Everyone's studying seriously and no one is stupid enough to do anything to stand out from the crowd because they are worried about getting a black mark on their school report. I'm the same, but I don't think there is any point in thinking about the future. Anyway, I don't even know where to begin to think about the future. Therefore, I'll just leave each day as it comes, today, tomorrow and certainly in the years ahead. While I was walking around Absent-mindedly, someone pat my back. Good morning, Metaro. When I turned around, I, I saw a couple holding each other's arms in a friendly manner. Yeah, you're up early today. Nana and Yukimaro. They're both childhood friends of mine and we've known each other since kindergarten. The three of us used to play together a lot because we lived in the same neighborhood. As soon as she entered high school, it seems that Nana suddenly became aware of Yukimaru as a man. They haven't told me anything in particular, though. Oh dear, I guess I've been left out, aren't I? Not like you're hiding it or anything. The two of you, hand in hand, you've been showing off since the morning. They seem to be getting alone as well as ever. Really, they're perfect for each other. 
I don't think there is any room for me to intervene. Of course, having said that... The enormous break up already. <laughs> ah, die enormous. <laughs> well, <laughs> not very friendly. Maybe die enormous is uh, more jokingly. Die enormous, but still so cringy, cringy break up already. Ah, hey, y Yukimaru, isn't Metaru jealous of us? Yeah, poor thing. He's probably jealous of our lovely Daviness. Poor Metaro, he's too ugly, so he is not popular. Ah, <laughs> uh, I know. Shall I act as his producer? I dodged Nana's provocations neatly. However, I'm annoyed on the inside. I'm used to their sarcastic remarks. They're not bullies or anything, it's just the way they joke around. We've been messing around with each other a lot for a long time, so something like this is perfectly normal. You'll get dumped if your personality is that ugly. You've got a messed up face too. Ah, remember what I told you, Metaro? I'm not gonna invite you to karaoke anymore. Well, I'm busy dating Yukimaru, so I don't even have time to play with you. Come on, come on, cut it out, you two. Yukimaru hesitantly comes between us with a sigh. He's always like that. After all, for better or worse, we're all childhood friends. Normal days. In this uninteresting school, I was just one of many. I just listen in class, just study, just talk with friends. I'm not popular, I don't have a girlfriend. It's a really boring life. Aren't the school years usually called youth? You know, there is not a single element of this so-called youth in my life. My student life. Is it okay to just let it end like this? I've always hoped there would be something more exciting. After school. There was nothing much to do, so I stopped by a nearby park. I sat down on a bench and ate some yakisoba bread that I had bought at a convenience store earlier. Their yakisoba bread has mayonnaise on it. <laughs> Quite fond of it. <laughs> bread with mayonnaise. Mmm, yummy. In the park square, children are playing energetically. I looked towards the grass on, in the corner and saw an unfamiliar sight. One girl is talking in front of a tripod. Mounted on the tripod was an expensive looking video camera. Those gadgets are quite expensive, aren't they? I wonder what she's talking. What she's taking videos of in a place like this all by herself. Could it be that Usatuber thing that's all the rage these days? Usatube is a very popular video sharing community. In short, we call it YouTube. It's a place where video contributors from all around the world gather. The people who upload videos are commonly referred to as Usatubers or YouTubers. Am I an Usatuber? Hmm. Hey. Hey. I just realized, but the girl was looking at me and waving. waving. You're not uh, calling to me, are you? After looking around to confirm that she wasn't calling someone else, I pointed at myself. Yeah, that's right, that's right, you, the guy over there. Apparently it's really me that she's calling. Or well, why, I wonder? I mean, who is that girl? Was she an old classmate of mine? No, I don't remember anyone with that fancy hair color. I decided to walk up to her slowly, even though I was suspicious. Man, you're a lifesaver. She has that pretty... How, how do you call it? I should... Let me translate it real quick. In, in her teeth. Teeth, what, what is it? How do you call it? Um, a fan. A tusk, a fan. She has a fan, like this really cutie stuff, a fan. 
in uh, I think in Japan there was once uh, like uh, a fashion that uh, having a fan like that is uh, very sexy and uh, people did like real uh, surgeries uh, to get their fangs extended so they are visible even with your mouth closed when she saw that I had arrived, the girl flashed a big smile that exposed her teeth. She was dressed in a unique and quite revealing manner. Her hair, almost blonde, was tied into a ponytail hanging down. Hey mister, sorry to bother you, but can you hold this for me? Sorry to ask you to do this all of a sudden, just a short time is enough, please. Without knowing why, I did as she asked. After handing it to me, she went running off somewhere. Why, she was just looking for some help, wasn't she? It's not like I know her or anything. Well, of course not. I was stupid to have even a little expectation. Speaking of which, what did she give to me? Curious, I looked at the object I was holding. <laughs> like... <laughs> okay, he was too... Hmm too overburdened in thoughts that he didn't even look at what she was given to him. I was holding a... Oh, I mean... <laughs> reality. We get, to we get to choose the reality. Okay, let's save. Small black object, large round object. Well, I don't really understand uh, any... What is this uh, going to be about? What uh, What is the guess? Okay, let's go just with large round object. What the girl gave me was a large number of balloons filled with helium. If I let go of them, they would fly away. I see. She was having trouble trying to find something to fix these balloons to, I guess. It must be tough being a one-man operation. I'm not too clear on the details, but I'm sure there are lots of difficulties and painful things behind the scenes. After waiting for a while, she came back with a bucket. Sorry, my bad. Thanks, mister. You totally saved me. I, lo I looked at her dubiously. That's a pretty poor attitude to have after getting someone to do something for you. Sheesh, youngsters these days. Man, I'm sorry. I'm in the middle of filming a video. Right now my hands are full. So I was in a big trouble and then... BAM! You were right there. You're really a big help. You're my savior. A video. As I thought, she's a usatuber. These days our numbers have certainly grown. I see people filming all over the city but only a handful of them can become famous, and it's probably quite a difficult w world for newcomers. This is merely my opinion as an outsider, though. I wonder if there are a lot of young people who dream of living a free life even in these times. Compared to me, who doesn't have any dreams, I think it's very admirable that they take concrete actions instead of just dreaming about it. By the way, I wondered what the balloons were used for. Curious, I decided to ask her. Uh, what are the balloons used for? Oh, oh, are you curious? Do you wanna know? At a special service, I'll tell you. Can humans fly with a large number of balloons? I'm gonna test the heck out of that today. Wild, isn't it? There is no way that can happen. I wanted to retort. I see. Is this one of the popular so-called myth-busting videos? I can easily imagine men doing stunts like this, but it's surprising to me that a slender woman like her is also doing it. What's wrong with slender women? Hmm. Oops, I'm late introducing myself. I'm sure you already know me, but as this is a special occasion... She sucked in some air and her demeanor changed, as if a switch had been flipped. Hello, Usatube. The roll of the dice is four. God knows. 
Earth knows, I know, you know. Welcome! It's a myth busting Usatuber Psycho live on the Hanabishi channel. Yo! How's that? I don't usually do that much fan service, you know. You'd better be thankful. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm, so you perhaps by some very small chance don't know who I am? I I've never heard that name, yo. Oh, seriously? Psycho was quite embarrassed, her face flushed bright red. I guess the hype from being in character was starting to fade. Oh jeez, I've caused a serious misunderstanding. <clears throat> I'm so embarrassed. But still, that's kind of cr cringe. When I think about doing that at the beginning of every video, it makes me feel second-hand embarrassment. <laughs> yes, cringe. Without a doubt, this kid is posting a lot of stuff on Usatube, which she's going to regret. <laughs> well, who cares? If there are people who don't know me, then I guess I'm still not quite there yet. You just watch me, I'm going to get even bigger, and then I'll show you. I don't know if she's famous online or completely unknown. Anyway, I just know that she's full of energy constantly switching moods. By the way, what's your name? Hello, Satube! <laughs> ah, Metro, you're one funny guy, I like you. How did you know my name? <laughs> Following her lead, I introduced myself in a funny way. It seems Saika has taken a liking to me. I don't usually fool around like this, but I kind of wanted to try it. Ah, now ain't the time for this, I gotta make today's video, quickly. Saika's mouth opened wide like in a gag comedy as she hurriedly began her preparations. I watched the girl busily filming with a blank stare. She has to think of an idea, prepare and present all by herself. It really looks rough. Um, need some help? You serious? You'll help a sister out? A sister? I was thinking more like, you know, like a friend um, that is a girl, a, f a girl, a friend girl, you know? Man, you're a super cool guy. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. It was quite tough doing this all alone. I was saying it half as a joke, but I was happy to help. I could see it was hard for her. I didn't have anything to do anyway, so this is a good way to pass the time. All said and done, I'm going to help her. She told me that if she started to float, the wind might blow her away. When that happened, she wanted me to follow her with my camera. No, I don't think you need to worry about that. <laughs> Holding back a laugh, I gladly did as she asked anyway. The balloons are filled with helium gas and inflated, a tedious but essential task. Ah, uh, why, Metro, yes, you're, so you are my age, why didn't you say so earlier? I haven't been to school in a long time, so my sense of the days of the week is all messed up. Haha, uh, I do this every day, it's funny, isn't it? I'm a genuine idiot. During this, she talked to me several times, making me laugh. I don't usually love this much, and I'm starting to feel a little weird about it. It was kind of like being a kid again. There are balloons you can buy in a store, around 30 in all. I attached all those balloons to her body. And finally the experiment begins, and Saika starts to lift off. Or she should have. Saika's body didn't even budge an inch. Maybe there weren't enough balloons? I don't think I need to tell you that. This was a doomed endeavor from the start. Uh, how about this? What if I had a falling chair or a bath stool instead? If you really want this to work, you should use military-grade balloons or giant balloons. 
I told her my honest opinion. Oh, you dumbass! Why didn't you tell me that at the start? She tells me off in a hysterical voice as she pats me on the shoulder. No, no, no. We just met today. There is no way I could have warned you beforehand. I bet she'll use this scene as a punchline of the video. I can't honestly say whether she is a genius or an idiot, but I laugh because her antics can be so dumb. For the most part, I'd rather just go about my life as normal, but sometimes it seems like it's not so bad to get involved with a girl like Psycho. In the meantime, it had already become dusk. Okay, let's uh, let's save here and uh, try the other option with a small black object and hope that we can die. Small black object. Yes, <laughs> you hear this melody? Yes. <laughs> the thing. The thing she gave me, she gave to me, was a black rugged lump. The, f the surface has bumps like the shell of a turtle. Looks like a grenade. Huh? Where have I seen that shape before? Ah, that's right. This is a grenade, isn't it? I didn't notice it at, at, at all, because the very idea of it was unrealistic. By the time I thought that far ahead, it was too late. Ooh. My body was scattered to pieces in an instant. Patent. Terrorist. Terrorist attack. In the meantime, it had already become dusk, continuing the earlier story. I can't believe it's been so long since my Yakisoba bread time. I guess if you had fun doing it, even simple work goes by faster than you would have thought. Thanks for helping me out today. Having used an assistant is seriously a godsend. No, 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 I'm sure I didn't help that much, you're exaggerating. But if you were thanked with a big smile like that, you couldn't possibly feel bad, could you? Maybe it's, it's high time for me to get an assistant. Eh, what can I say? Well then, I'll see you around, Metaro. After packing her large items into her rucksack, Psycho headed for the park exit. I wonder if she does this all the time by herself. I wonder if it's about the numbers. Like monetization, for example. I think I'd lose motivation if I didn't make a penny. Or maybe she's just doing it as a hobby, enjoying her youth without worrying for the about the money. She's a doofus, so it's not impossible. That uh, it's not about monetary gain. Hey! When I looked in the direction of the voice, I saw Psycho looking at me, waving her hands high up in the air. You're still here? I forgot to tell you, please subscribe to my channel! Yes, yes. I waved my hand back at her, half amused, half exasperated. Those Usa tubers. Always wanting you to subscribe and comment and like. Ah. Huh. Today was more tiring than usual. I returned home and laid on my bed. Maybe it's because I did stuff that I don't usually do, but I feel like I'm really tired today. I think I'm gonna fall asleep at this rate. Ah. I pull out my phone as I remembered. I almost forgot. Let's look up Psycho on Usatube. Hanabishi channel, Psycho. Usatube channel, 
580,000 subscribers with no limit in the number of competitors. It's no easy task for an amateur to reach this number. What I... I think I've just met someone amazing. And uh, talking about amazing, please take a look at uh, this uh, scenery, picture you're, uh, you're watching it, like how majestic, majestic colors. Look at the uh, screen of uh, the, uh, the phone. It has how many, like blue and green and purple and red and black. Isn't this like just majestic? Just majestic. I really like this uh, style of painting. Very cool, very cool. It's hard to believe, but that's what it is. Oh no, because she said we're the same age, I carelessly spoke to her casually instead of being respectful. <laughs> so now you are going to be respectful. Yeah, it's hard to be famous. Everyone tries to be respectful to you for no reason. When she was talking about not going to school, I thought she was just a del delinquent pretending to be a usatuber. Anyway, I never thought I'd be able to get close to such an amazing person. Maybe I'm just super lucky. If I play my cards right, maybe I can become friends with her. I could feel such deviousness proud in somewhere in my head. I couldn't contain my excitement. That night I spent all my time watching Psycho's videos. And the deep blue starry sky. A girl, illuminated by the twinkling stars, was talking with a boy. Here, for you. What's this? Dice? Yeah, if you, if you are ever in trouble, you should give it a roll. Huh, you want me to ask God for help? Well, yes, that's right. If you are in trouble, you should ask God. This six-sided cube always gives the right answer. We can't resist the fate that God has set for us, because that's how he made it. But if you want to defy fate, you have to roll the largest number you can. How? Did you know? When you add up the front and the back of a die, it always comes out to the number 7. Did you know, guys? We heard about this before? Hmm. Please don't ever forget that. It's a magic charm to help you obtain glory. Are you an idiot? Uh, how cruel of you. If such a thing could save me, I wouldn't be in this much pain. Yeah, it's just a comforting thought to have. I hope I die soon. Why? The reason doesn't really matter. It's just a rationalization after the fact. Are there really people who wish to die for no particular reason? At the very least, I don't want to die for such a vague reason. I can come up with a good reason every day. It's got nothing to do with you. You don't need to hide it like that. You're really not honest with yourself. Is it because your mother and father don't love you? That's one thing, but there is something more. That may be something that happened at school. Why, I must have hit the mark. They made fun of me all the time. They splashed water on me every day. They beat me up, kicked me, fed bugs to me, hurt me until I couldn't move. It's funny, who would want to live after being bullied so badly? I don't even think about falling in love. There is no point in that anymore. Gender is something that makes no sense to me. A lot of times I wanted to die, to disappear. Maybe I'm just not cut out for this world. But yet, you couldn't bring yourself to tell anyone, did you?
this gender thing. Did, have you met a girl with a secret? Hmm. The bell sounded, signaling the end of long class. You, it's finally lunch break. Somehow, today felt stupidly long. If I didn't have to go to school, I'd definitely not go. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's not like you're alone in this thought. Yes, just like Psycho. I yawned loudly and pulled out my smartphone. Should I continue to watch from where I left off yesterday? What's on my screen right now is a Hanabishi channel. Psycho's channel. It was more interesting than I thought. I spent all of last night binging her archives. Thanks to that, I didn't get enough sleep today. Oh, what a cute girl. Is she a YouTuber? Huh? Metero. So you were interested in that sort of thing? Yukimaru, who was speaking at my screen, teases me. Ah, uh, isn't that the YouTuber Psycho-chan? So Metero watches her too. How unexpected. Nana jumped out from behind Yukimaru. Oh, Nana, you know of her? Of course, of course, I know, I'm a big fan. She's cute and her videos are funny and awesome. Apparently, Nana knew a lot about Psycho. Oh, I don't really watch his stuff, so I didn't know. I'm sure she's the same age as us. That means we could be classmates. And there is a rumor that she's not going to school, though I'm not sure why. I wonder why. I've never seen, I've never seen her m mention it in any of the videos. Next time she does a Q&A, I'll submit something. Nana was proudly showing off her Usatuber knowledge, but unfortunately for her, I already knew. After all, I heard it directly from the source yesterday. You should watch the Hanabishi channel too, Yukimaru. Psycho-chan's so cute, and she's really funny. Well, I don't mind, but I'm not good at this kind of thing. Is it the type where they try to disparage and cancel everything? She's not like that at all. She's a myth-busting type, so she does a lot of silly experiments. You can even watch you can you can even watch while you are eating. Hmm, is that so? Well, if Lana says so. Oh, but if there is gross stuff like puking on stream, then give me a break. Don't worry, don't worry. Psycho Chan's very considerate to her viewers. I mean, that would start a huge flame war, huh? <laughs> I guess that's true. <laughs> uh, why are these guys flirting in front of my desk? Get the room, guys. Get the room. After school, Nana and Yukimaru went out on a date together. Damn you normies. It's not like I'm jealous of you or anything. Die. I casually wandered off to the park alone. I wonder if Psycho will be in the same place as yesterday. Nah, I guess I'd, it'd, I'd be too much of a stalker if I said that. Gloomily, I sat down on the same bench as yesterday and took out yakisoba bread that I bought at the convenience store. After watching her videos yesterday as well as today, I noticed that each video could be enjoyed in less than 10 minutes. It's a good way to pass the time. I can see why the students are so fascinated with it. Once you've finished watching, you'll somehow get the urge to watch other Usatubers as well. By the way, how long does it take to shoot a 10 minute video? I'm pretty sure I spent two or three hours yesterday on that silly balloon experiment. And there is not just filming, there is also video editing and stuff, right? Uh, thinking about it seriously, the effort must be mind-boggling. Uh. Wow! 
As soon as she saw me, she screamed in surprise, as if, she, as if she'd seen a dead body. Why, it's Metaro, you friggin' scared the hell out of me. Ah, uh, I see. You're just off school. Of course, students leave school around this time. I've been away from school for too long, so I forgot about that. Uh, we meet again. Dude, are you a stalker? Are you following me? I don't mind, but don't follow me back home, got it? Oh yeah, she's a delinquent. Or something like that. And that response really makes me wonder how long she's been away from school. I'm curious about it, but I was kind of hesitant to ask since it's quite a sensitive question. Uh, but let me warn you, never say let's be friends to me. Hmm, I don't need any friends, they are no use to me. Don't ask me why I'm so certain about it, but it's got to have something to do with the fact that she's not going to school anymore. Well, first, let me try asking a normal question. What, uh, what are you doing, doing to do? <laughs> what are you going to do today? Oh, interested, are you? Actually, I've got something special in store for today. Something special? I'm excited to hear those words and I can't wait to hear more details. You know the Kubitori Tunnel? If you live around if you live around these parts, you must have heard of it, right? When she sees me looking puzzled, she's taken aback. Ah, Metero, you really don't know anything, do you? You don't know about the Kubitori Tunnel? It's a famous haunted spot around here. Everyone's favorite place for a test of courage. Eh, yeah. of all things, a test of courage. When I was growing up, my mother told me never to go to the haunted places, so it's a place that I have no experience with. You might meet someone unnatural or have something scary happen to you. Anyway, it's not a good idea to go to that place, that's for sure. I'll never go and maybe Psycho should reconsider too. With that in mind, I decided to give it to her straight. No offense, but you'd better stop. My mom said no. Yahaha, ha, ha, what you're so scared about? I'm not a psychic. I've never seen or felt anything supernatural, so it's fine. I've been to a lot of those places before, but nothing ever happened. I've heard footsteps and tapping sounds coming from nowhere, and I've even seen a weird black shadow. <laughs> See, that's all that happened, so it's okay, okay. It's perfectly safe. No, I feel like we are already crossing a pretty dangerous bridge. If I recall, those things she talked about are exactly the signs to watch out for in haunted places. When the air is heavy, when, you're, when you hear sounds, then you start to see spirits like that. I don't want to feel that. Come on, I can't be an... Satuber, if I'm scared of that much. Even if we have to put our bodies on the line a little bit, we'll bring the very best entertainment to our viewers. Isn't that what a Utuber is all about? Hmm. I can't really say if I'm convinced. People who can draw in large audiences like her exude a strange confidence, so I never know what they, what they might do. No matter what I say, she has her pride as a professional on the line. It's useless. I can't stop her. But let's face it, psychic and paranormal stuff gets a ton of views. Did you know that? People are curious, you know. They're scared to go there themselves, but they want to see it. Well, you have a point. I'm one of those people. People don't want to put themselves in danger, but they're interested in seeing something spooky. The same goes for people who didn't want to play horror games by themselves. That said, I still can't bring myself to go. And of course you're coming alone, right? Right? You're coming, right? Right? Huh? No, no, no. What the hell are you saying? 
Are you seriously going to drag me into this? I shake my head vigorously, but she puts her hand on my shoulder. Don't worry, don't worry, let's go. It'll be fun for sure. Does she need it? It's definitely not going to be fun. As I continued to refuse her, Saiko sadly lowered her eyes. What? You're not going? That's so boring. I thought I'd finally found a body I can go shooting videos with. Uh, to tell the truth, my uh, heart was a little stirred. I don't know if I can continue to spend my days like this, doing nothing. If I continue to help her like this, maybe I'll get more friends. If I cooperate with her, I might just be able to enjoy what's known as youth. This might be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for me, a person with no personality and nothing to offer. If it's for the sake of changing these boring days, I guess it can be helped. She's so popular, I've got no choice, no choice but to follow her. Yeah, that's how it should be. When I finally agreed to go, Saikta rubbed her nose happily. Rubbing your nose, hmm, happily. I met up with Psycho at a nearby station. The time was 2 a.m. Oh, in the night. The perfect time for a test of courage. I slipped out of the house a little early and waited for her on the side of the road, fiddling with my phone in the meantime. Kubitori Tunnel, is it? I decided to do some research on my destination. I heard footsteps coming from a tunnel that was supposed to be empty. While passing through the tunnel, I was approached by the ghost of a woman wearing a kimono. If you encounter a woman with a sickle, she will take your head. As I read through the posts about the rumors, I got goosebumps. Hey, are you kidding me? This is the place we're going to go to? Uh, this is all for the sake of fame and youth, but I regretted agreeing to it so lightly. A little later, Psycho showed up just in, just in time. Oh, you're quick. All pumped up and raring to go. Even at this late hour, her energy is still the same. Sheesh, if you're so cheerful, I'm sure the ghosts wouldn't want to come out. I don't believe in ghosts or anything like that, but if something like that happens, I might have no choice but to believe in it. You're really coming? All right, let's go! Kobitori Tunnel, here we come! Wait up, ghost! This YouTuber Psycho Sama is gonna exercise you all! <laughs> Psycho and I decided to head to the Kobitori Tunnel. There were no cars, so we walked steadily along the dimly lit road. We walked side by side in the dead of night. Along the way, I mentioned something that had been bothering me for a while. Being a Usatuber is a fun job, isn't it? Hmm? For real? Hmm? Sorry to burst your bubble, but unfortunately, it's not that simple. It's not all fun and games, try it and you'll see. It's not easy, it's hard work, it's physical work. And there is a lot of stuff you've got to uh, worry about. Like, you say something funny, meant to be a joke, but then it gets slammed for being offensive. If you go into a place that's off limits, you're gonna piss off people. If you leave stuff uneaten, waste food, or throw up during a mukbang, you're gonna come under fire by haters. It's all about how to make interesting content while following the rules without troubling or offending anyone. It's also a competition with other YouTubers. Naturally, everyone fights for the hot topics, and you gotta be careful not to do something that's already been done. There are some people who get flipping mad and go, you copied me, even if you didn't do it on purpose. 
It's a tough world, isn't it? With all the overly sensitive folks out there. It really is. Like those feminists. Ooh. <laughs> Roasting feminists. I mean, do you think we do all this without putting any thought into it? I know I'm an idiot, but even I've got to use my head quite a bit, you know. Before I realized, she had worn a serious expression on her face. I see. That's how it is. You've got to follow the rules laid down by others. It's not an easy road. You've got to mind your manners and not offend or trouble the people around you. That's something that should be obvious, but I bet many people don't do it. Surprisingly, I seem to have caught a glimpse of Psycho's considerate side. As we were talking, we arrived right in front of the Kubitori tunnel. Even though it's summer, there is a chilly wind blowing, and the atmosphere is unsettling. Phew, it's kinda cold. Nice, I'm shivering all over. I'm getting the creeps all of a sudden, Metaro. You don't. Why don't you go on ahead? I I'm just an assistant, so. Pretty please. Even I'm scared of scary things. Getting cold feet, the two of us began to make the other go first. I'd rather we both just walk side by side. But one of us has to hold the camera, and the other has to hold the light. We are not making any progress. There is no other way then. Hey look, I've got something good here. She removed the square stone that was attached to her choker. Well, roll the dice, and the one with the biggest number wins. The loser walks in front. How about that? It's true. We can't just sit around and do nothing. I reluctantly agreed to her proposal. Up. She rolled the dice and got a three. Oh, this ain't good. It's too small. Maybe I've lost. Then I rolled and got a four. Oh, how did this happen? I can't go in front. No way, no way, no way! I had my thoughts on the matter, but I felt like it was meant to be. No matter how you look at it, it would be better for views if I held the camera and film Psycho than the other way around. Yay. I regret it, but the promise is a promise. I'm going ahead. The tunnel was pitch black. The only light was a flashlight that Psycho was holding. The sound of dripping water is echoing from somewhere. The graffiti on the walls, the black stains, everything is starting to look creepy. I feel like I am overreacting to every noise or little thing. Even though it's the middle of summer, I feel the chills on my skin. I hope that's all it is. Naturally. I'm scared of ghosts, but right now I'm alone with Psycho. Unconsciously the distance between us becomes a little closer, then maybe our hands would naturally touch each other, or maybe Psycho would grab my arm. Why? What's with this weird feeling? My heart is a flutter. Is this the suspension bridge effect? What's the matter? You've been quiet, Metaro. Okay? What? You're not... Already possessed, are you? Give me a break already! To Psycho, I... See who is friend, see who is woman. I think for a bad end we need to see her as woman. And we get... Punished. I seen her as woman. How could I not be aware of it? I mean... She's a pretty girl, around my age. How can a healthy boy not get excited under these circumstances? Yes, under these circumstances. Alone in a dark tunnel, with no way around, with the only source of light being her flashlight. Wow. No matter how boyish her words and actions are, she's wearing flashy revealing clothes, and she's got a huge rack. I'm sorry. 
All right, no one's around to see us here. I put my hands on the wall and trapped her between my eyes, between my arms. Oh, what? Metaro? Puffing and puffing, I move my face closer to hers. Hey. At that moment, my vision is suddenly cut off. It, I went black and the next next thing I saw was red. I was in a bright red room. I didn't understand my situation, but while looking around, I noticed that this room was being filmed by a camera. Is this a video or is it a live broadcast? Thoughts whirled around my head. Wasn't I at the haunted spot with Psycho just now? Yeah, everyone in front of the screen. Hello, Usatub. The roll of the dice is four. God knows, Earth knows, I know, you know. Welcome! It's a Miss Bastin Usatuba Psycho. Live on her Hanabisha channel, yo. Today's event is the one you'll all be waiting for. The Red Room. Have you heard of it? It's a devil's live stream. I get suggestions from our viewers on what to do with our prisoner here. Then I'll do my best to live up to your expectations. Mischief, violence, killing, anything goes. The fate of our prisoner depends on you, the viewer. Are you streaming like on <laughs> Dark Web Onion website? Viewer participation makes for the best, best kind of entertainment, doesn't it? It'll definitely be fun. Without further ado, who wants to give me some instructions to start with? Give me the best ideas you got, guys. Please choose what you would like Metaro to go through. Violation in a sexual sense beaten to this. Well, let's uh, save. And uh, maybe first uh, we'll choose beaten to this. Without any sexual sense. Just beaten to this uh, should be alright for the start. Right? For the start. Hmm. <laughs> you made quite the interesting choice. This is why I can't stop streaming. Sorry, this is what the audience wants. No hard feelings. Yeah, oi oi oi, look, Metro. Aren't the numbers wild? We've got over a million viewers, one million achieved, and it's all thanks to you. Thanks, Metro. Uh, uh, no. Oh, stream ended. Hmm, must be resumed after a short break. Bad end. Lost. I guess my lost. Okay, let's go to this uh, sex stuff. So, I would like violation in a sexual sense. Yeah, you've made quite an interesting choice. This is why I can't stop streaming. Let's get this show on the road. The woman stormed into the room and roughly tore off the man's clothes. Aha! All for the numbers, all for the bus. <laughs> Unable to resist, the man's pants are taken off and his crotch is exposed. The woman looked at the frightened man with amusement. I'm just trying to build up more hype. With more buzz comes fame. It's all for the publicity. No hard feelings, okay? While ranting on and on, she pulled out 
an implement shaped like a lump of iron. It's like, by the way, it's a nice shot of her, right? A sexy shot of uh, the first ever sexy shot of uh, our heroine for today. Okay, and I kind of imagine what is going to be right now. Oh, so you haven't uh, seen this before. This is a slicer that can cut cucumbers into equal parts. Very useful so for making sushi rolls. Oh, we are going to cook sushi. <laughs> I was afraid. <laughs> it can slice through cucumbers easily without any effort. Isn't it amazing? It's crazy sharp. Kukuku. What is what is kukuku? <laughs> kukuku is something new, you know. Fu 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 is kind of understandable, but kukuku, that's interesting. <laughs> Hey you, I look about me, I um, me and you, look I know you like me, but don't you? Hey, isn't that right? It's got to be right. <laughs> hmm. I mean, you said it earlier, right? That you saw me as a woman. Look, your dong is getting really hot. Isn't that proof enough? Isn't it? The woman's hand is trembling violently. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. All for the sake of... All for the sake of the numbers. Anything to get more views. She took his lower part in her hand and ran it through the slicer. That must have been very painful, I guess. Pedant. Red room. Okay, enough of this uh, gory stuff. Let's uh, get back to uh, something more normal. Not be a creep, just uh, as a friend. We are friends. I can't. I can't. I vigorously shook my head, driving me the weird thoughts out of my mind. Whoa, look at that, Metaro. There is a person all the way over there. What? This place is so popular. As expected, the number one haunted place in this area is something else. Hello? No matter how we look at it, wouldn't that be a ghost? Hey, what are you doing out here? Looking for treasure? Why are you trying to talk to it? It's clearly not from this world. Looking. Hmm, what did you say? Looking for a neck. Your neck, may I kindly take it? Eh? Yeah! Psycho screamed hysterically as she came running towards me. The female ghost was following behind. Oi, 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 isn't she chasing us? I started running at once. If that thing catches up with us, we are in trouble. We'll be cursed to death. We ran as fast as we could, not knowing what was going on, and we somehow made it to the outside of the tunnel. <laughs> you were saved. What the hell was that? Hey, you. After something that blatant, you still don't get it? It's a hundred percent ghost. What, really? Metaro, you made sure you properly got it on camera, didn't you? Psycho frantically checks the camera. When we checked the video, we could clearly see the ghost of a woman in a white kimono on it. We did it! This is gonna be a million hits for sure. Psycho and I high-fived each other. A lot happened, but the result was a good one, I suppose. 
It was kind of fun. Maybe it was good to come here after all. Well, I guess it's time to call it a day. We'll be in trouble if it follows us all the way here. Uh -huh. I'm gonna head home and edit. How about you? Going back. Jacking off and say. <laughs> yeah, we're buddies, we're dudes. I'm going back, jacking off and sleep. Yeah, disgusting. But I don't hear that kind of banter. You better tell me what you wanked off to tonight, hehe. <laughs> or, a word of advice from me. When you come back from a haunted place, don't go straight home. Go in another direction and take the long way home, or else. You might be bringing something home. Be careful. Before you worry about others, worry about yourself first. I had thought I'd seen a more serious side of her, but her antics today were just plain silly. I wanted to play the straight man role, but I stopped short of saying it to her directly. Ah, that's right. Matero, if you don't mind, I was wondering if you could help me out again. What can I say? And I seem to make a good. You and I seem to make a good duo. So that's decided. Here's my contact info. She handed me a piece of paper. She tore off a notebook and left it in a good and left in a good mood. Somehow it feels I had just gotten my ticket to success. In the darkness, the flame of a candle sways and flickers. It's not that he doesn't have electricity, but he likes to spend his time in nothing but candlelight. He always does this when he needs to calm his spirit. It's like a curse or a ritual. Like praying to some deity. Like cleaning to someone something, anything, while remembering in secret the humiliation he experienced as a child. Then he turns on the computer and as soon as it boots up, opens his favorite website. On the screen is a video posting community called Usatube. In short, Utube. It's a place where video contributors from all around the world gather. The people who upload videos there are commonly referred to as Usatubers or Utubers. He seems to be staring at the number displayed on the page. Not. He muttered quietly. Then an unpleasant high-pitched sound echoed throughout through the room. Not enough. Not enough, not enough! Creak, creak. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to do creaks properly. <laughs> it was the sound of someone chewing on their own fingernails. Osatube. The only way I can express myself right now is this. This is all I have. This is all I have left to live for. I've forgotten what else is worth living for. I don't care what it takes to get the numbers. Anything goes as long as it makes me money. I'll do anything as long as it gets me publicity. It's hard for a newcomer to beat an old-timer. For the sake of winning, for the sake of climbing that wall, I must try anything. If that's what it takes, you've got to take some risks. As long as you survive, there is no problem. If you put your body on the line, if you stand out, then you'll get noticed. It's short-sighted, but it's the right step to take. As long as you can avoid getting cancelled. For a long time, my parents didn't understand what I was thinking. They didn't do it. No, they didn't even try. 
They told me it wasn't realistic to do what I wanted to do. They denied me a lot of chances. They tried to destroy all my future. If we could eat by doing that stuff, we wouldn't be having such a hard time. Yeah, you're dreaming too much. How can you put food on the table using the internet? Apparently, it's the job of parents to kill their children's dreams, hopes and potential. Huh. But you're surprised now. Both the way society works and the way business is conducted are changing along with the times. You underestimate the formless world of the internet. You are the ones who haven't kept up with transformation. What have you learned up till now? You've lived more than twice as long as I have, and what have you learned? It feels awfully silly to be lectured by people like you. So I decided not to hold back any longer. The day I silenced my parents forever was the day my life really began. Silenced my parents forever. Hmm. Still, there were times when others made fun of me or criticized me. But I didn't stop. I kept going. I kept fumbling in the dark. I kept rethinking my methods because I wanted to be popular. Because I wanted the numbers. Because I wanted to get back at those guys. Because I wanted to get my revenge. Quick. Screech. Snap. <laughs> this all sounds. <laughs> I bit my nails. Wrecked with my teeth. I kept biting. To my heart's satisfaction. These eyes of mine are really dull and bloodshot. I constantly and unconsciously bring my fingers to my mouth. I sucked on the whites of my nails and beat them off hard. Ouch. A red blood oozes from the area where the nail has been snapped. Die, 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 die! And then... And then I repeat the process. All night long, until my consciousness is buried somewhere far away. An interesting intermission. What can I say? School is out. Okay, I made it through another day. Alright, let's quickly go to the park. With that in mind, I packed up my stuff and was about to leave my seat. What's up? Yukimaru chiefly taps me on the shoulder. Uh, you're the last person I want to see right now. Where are you headed now? Oh, to your girlfriend's place, maybe? Haven't you been living quickly lately? What you've been hiding, I wonder? Damn, you got sharp instincts. For some reason, you have a good nose for things like these, Yukimaru. It's not like that, but if I flat out deny it, he won't believe me at all. Metaro, I'm going bowling with Nana. How about joining us? He smirks and tries to corner me with his usual attitude. We'll bet over who has to pay for dinner. How about it? Sounds good. Today is a bit, you get the idea. Or oh, you're not coming with us. What's wrong? Or you mean to say that I'm right? Even spring has come for you too. Yukimaru still doggedly casualis casually casuals man these words casualis uh, me even though I refuse him already. Um, is this going to be a pain in the ass? Well, I was at a loss for words to deal with the persistent Yukimaru. Nana appeared on the side. Mm -hmm, I figured it out. Her eyes light up as she hums with her nose. You're just jealous because we are dating all the time, right? Completely wrong. Sheesh, I can't deal with the 
with the fluff at all. But that's not the point. I'm about to embark on the huge task for assisting a very famous Usatuber. I don't have time to deal with these two idiots. I executed a splendid dodge, but when I tried to leave the classroom, Nana followed me. Wait, wait, Metaro. Where are you going? Don't ignore me. Damn it. Get off my case. I'm going to do some recording. Recording? Of what? Sounds interesting. By the time I realized I'd let my tongue slip, it was too late. So nostalgic. I used to play here as a kid. Mm -hmm. Did we? That's right. Metaro, Yukimaru and I used to used to come here to play together a lot, didn't we? Oh yeah, that did happen, didn't it? But wasn't there one other person? What are you saying, Yukimaru? It's just the three of us as childhood friends. Well, I suppose. Uh, this is bad. It was only supposed to be me and Psycho who were doing the recording. I've got a bunch of annoying people following me around today. Or, more accurately, I've brought them along. How will Psycho react when she sees it, this? She seems like an idiot, but she's surprisingly calculating, so she might not be thrilled about this situation. Yo, matter. Oh, no, look at these uh, three people, three people uh, in the uh, in the scene all together for the first time. Oh, wonderful. I wonder if it can, uh, be, if it can be uh, wide enough for four people, maybe. I think three is the limit. Okay. Yo, Metaro, uh, who are these? See? I knew it. That's the reaction I was expecting. N no way! The real thing? As soon as she saw Psycho's figure, Nana's eyes opened wide. Cute, cute! Your hair looks even better than in the videos, and your skin is so smooth and shiny. This is so amazing. Oh uh oh, who's this? Hey, Metaro, are these people you know? Excuse me, are you Sa Psycho Chan, the Usatuber in the flesh? Oh, oh, the one and only. No way, that's so cool. Can you sign this? Psycho was bewildered by Nana acting all cute and flustered. I'd love to give you a helping hand, but I can't. Sorry, Psycho. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm a little embarrassed. She smiled helplessly and dropped her finger below her nose. Seriously, that's awesome. Hey, can I take a picture? Uh, Yukimaru, that's not fair. Me as well, I'm begging you. Uh, don't worry, I won't run away. You can take as many pictures as you want. For some reason, I'm the one in the charge of taking the picture. Reluctantly, I took the phone from Nana. The three of them uh, lined up and I pressed the shutter on the screen. Alright, Psycho-chan, do your usual thing. The usual thing? The greeting, the greeting! That thing you always do at the beginning of the video. Oh, that. I want to see it. Um, it's a little awkward to do it when asked so seriously. Hello, Usatu. The roll of the dice is four. God knows, Earth knows, I know, you know. Welcome. It's the myth busting Usatuber Psycho. Live on the Hanabishi channel, yo. She immediately strikes a pose and does her tagline. While Nana and Yukimaru were freaking out in excitement, I headed for a nearby bar bench. As usual, I sat down on the bench and watched the three of them from afar. I wonder when it's going to end. I feel like I've done something wrong to Psycho. I wonder what Psycho thinks of those two. I'll, ha I'll have to apologize later. A little bit later, Psycho approached, carrying a pickaxe. <laughs> a pickaxe? <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> 
I thought for a moment that she was carrying something dangerous, but on second thought, I'm sure it's for, for her videos. Yeah, it's, it's not for her videos for sure. Come to think of it, I guess I haven't heard what today's project was. Up to something interesting again, I see. Oh, we're going treasure hunting. Yeah, and not burying anyone, just treasure hunting, correct? This time we are on a treasure hunt in a cave rumored to have been dug by pirates. How's that? Yay, that's super interesting. Sakura genius. I heard that there are still many buried treasures hidden in Japan, from ancient artifacts to objects hidden by great historical figures. And that's why we're gonna find them. Hehe. <laughs> Let's hit the jackpot and make you and me rich, Metaro. If we find the treasure, could we live happily ever after? Oh, just once in my life. I'd like to take a vacation in a tropical country surrounded by scantily clad beauties. Yukimaru, you de go die. Aoi, you didn't need to punch me, Nana. Yeah, oh well, men are creatures like that. Can't blame him. Hmm. And like that, the four of us decided to go on a treasure hunt. It was not far from where we lived. Along the shoreline there is a big hole in the rocky cliff. So, this is the cave where the pirates hid the treasure. After stepping foot in the cave, we decided to go further inside. The condition inside is terrible. It's flooded in places and it's kind of slippery. If you're not careful, you could end up hurting yourself. Maybe this cave is a bit more than we can chew. Hey, it's so slippery. I don't want to do this anymore. Can I go back? Seems it's not that safe. Nana, why don't you wait outside? I think I'll do that. Sorry, Psycho-chan. It's okay, it's okay. Don't worry about it. But I'm scared to wait by myself. Please come with me, Yukimaru. What, and let Metaro have the treasure all to himself? I wouldn't do that, you're making me look bad here. I mean, it's not like we're, we'll actually find any treasure or anything. Eh? You're going to have poor little weak me all by myself? No way, Ikimaru, you're not human. Ogre. Demon. Yandarella. Trash. Uh, that other scene. Uh, yes, Menheraflesia. Very bad guy, Menheraflesia. Okay, okay. I'll wait with you. Yes, yes, yes. It can be helped. Oh, come on. One yes is enough. Hm. Sorry, I'll leave the heavy lifting to you, Metaro. I'll leave it to you, Metaro. Do your best for our share. Well, to sum it up, take care, buddy. I mean, what the heck? What the hell are these guys doing? Coming alone on your own but give up at the important part? It's all right, I'm sure Metaro and I'll find the treasure and come back. Have a safe trip and be careful. Hmm. <laughs> it's hard to swallow, but I've decided to go with Psycho into the cave. I wonder what Psycho thinks of the of those two. Since they're not here, I think I'll take the opportunity to ask now. Those two, what do you think? Oh, why all of a sudden? Why do you ask? Well, whatever it is, they said they'd help me and I'm still grateful. I wonder if it's okay if I don't pay them or anything. 
Look, you guys, Psycho is standing up for you. However, there is still a lot to be desired from you too. After proceeding through the muddy cave, we reached a dead end. Ah, it's dead end. So this is where it ends. We reached the end quicker than I thought. Now, I know there must be treasure buried somewhere beyond this wall. We'll split up and dig our way through. Oi, oi, are you serious? I stopped filming for a moment and reluctantly accepted the pickaxe from Psycho. The two of us decided to split up and start digging around. The walls, damp from the water dripping down, were surprisingly solid. The pickaxe doesn't bite into the wall as much as I thought it would, so I had a hard time. While immersed in the, in the work, before I knew it, I was sweating all over. I feel like a coal miner. The tip of my pickaxe hit something hard. I quickly dusted off the dirt in that area and called Psycho over. Oh, what's wrong, what's wrong? What did you find? When she heard my voice, Psycho came over to see what's going on. <laughs> okay, let's uh, save. No, 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 it's nothing, 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 just nothing. I didn't find anything. There were only hard rocks underneath where we removed the dirt. Why, how boring, I was so hyped too. I think we should find something. <laughs> okay, let's maybe uh, play this a little bit longer. If there is nothing, I'd appreciate if you didn't call me over, Metaro. I'm so tired. I think I'll call it a day. I can't keep those two waiting forever either. Okay, let's now find something. Something that will make our life a little bit shorter. Found the treasure. I found the treasure. I really found it. When the dirt was removed, it revealed what looked like a door. The door was sturdy, but it didn't seem to have a lock on it, and I was able to push it open. Beyond that, a room stretched out, piled high with treasures that shone with a golden gleam. No, no way! Is is that the real thing? This isn't a prank, is it? Hmm, we won't be able to tell for sure until we get it appraised or something. But it's probably the real deal, no doubt. It's too elaborate to be a prank, and it was buried so deeply. But then, you never know, can you? How could such a treasure be lying inside a cave in a beach so close to us? As I was mulling over various things, I felt a sharp jolt in my head. Hmm? It feels like something stuck in my head. Fearfully, I looked up and saw a pickaxe sticking out of my head. A bright red liquid drips from the hole in my head. Ah, what the... Sorry, sorry, my hand slipped. Are you okay? <laughs> I was so shocked that I couldn't stand up. Instead, I fell straight to the ground. Uh, what's going on? What, what? Why is this happening? Am I going to die? Am I killed by Psycho? My hands trembled as the fear of death crept up on me. That was surprising to find such a treasure sleeping here. Well done, Metaro, well done. Now, I don't care how many views I get, I can live off of this for the rest of my life, can't I? Do, do you think you'll ever be forgiven for doing something like this? You killing me and keeping the treasure for herself? How are you going to explain this to the two people waiting outside? Oh yeah, that's right. 
perfect timing. Can I borrow your thing for a sec? She's grinning and smiling suspiciously as she grabs my crotch. There is a girl I like and I can't wait to violate her. Sorry. You know that girl, right? Nana, her name was. What? what? For now, that silver head scumbag is in the way, so I'll kill him first. And then, I'm going to put your cut up tongue in her. <laughs> you did it, Metaru. You'll no longer be a virgin now, right? Don't look so scared. You should be more happy. Isn't that what you've always wanted? Right, right. I know everything you know. Metaru, there is no point in hiding it. Zoro's words startled me. No, no. I don't think about Nana that way. I've never thought I wanted to... Yeah, not even once. You've always wanted to, to have her, haven't you? Uh, yes. Psycho, on my behalf, by getting rid of that man in the way, Psycho will indirectly connect me with that girl. Don't worry, you won't be lonely in the afterlife, because I'll be sending you all there soon. Psycho laughed violently and then kicked me in the nuts. My body rolls into this crevice where the treasure was lying. Just wait there. I'm gonna send those two after you soon. Oh, I see. I get it now. Psycho is going to do it for me. What I couldn't do for her. What do you mean what I couldn't do for her? Thank you, Psycho. What is, what is this? What is this? My eyes. Please. Uh, is this going to be a happy end? Oh no. I'm so bored. Oh, I wonder if they're still doddling inside. Don't you think what time it is now? It's already dark. Mama will scold me if I don't go home soon. Well, let's just wait and see. We are the ones who pushed ourselves into this. Bleh, I wish I could go home and watch Return of Usakure already. Uh, I've got Usakure recorded. We can watch it at home sometime later, okay? Oh no, that's my boyfriend for you. Yukimaru, I love you. Yes, yes. I can't believe you're the same person who said all those bad things to me earlier. Shut up. Mm, for brains. Ouch. Ah, Psycho-chan, she's come back. Oh, welcome back, huh? What happened to Metaro? Yeah, just uh, don't mind the blood on, on me. Just uh, some uh, red uh, paint. Yo, you were waiting for me, you two. Psycho-chan, what is that red? Blood? Yeah, don't worry, you pretty little head. This here, not but ketchup. Yeah, ketchup in the cave. We have found a treasure, a ketchup treasure. Oh, okay, yeah. What about Metaro? Oh, he's back in the cave. He found a huge treasure. I'm having him keep an eye on it to make sure no one takes it. Psycho, enough with the charade. What did you do to that guy? Huh? What did I do? What the hell do you mean? Don't hide it. What are you up to? You know. I want to die, but 
no one will, no one will kill me. Ah? Uh? No. She took him completely by surprise. Sw Saiko swung her pickaxe and hit Yukimal Yukimaru squarely in the head. You're not gonna kill me like this, are you? Are you? Again and again, a hole is opened up in Yukimaru's body. There was no hesitation at all in swinging the pickaxe down. I won't forgive you, Sai. Go. Hey, you let your guard down just because you're dealing with a girl. You're so simple-minded. You, you'll never forgive you. And if so, then what? You'll kill me? Nana. Run away. Yeah, uh -huh. if you can do it, then try. Take this and this. Ora! With each swing of the pickaxe, Yukimaru's resistance was gradually fading. In no time, his shirt, dyed in red, had countless holes in it like a beehive. I'm glad. I'm glad that you're here to provide some entertainment for me. Now, you've got the makings of a wonderful Usatuber. I never knew you had it in you, Yukimaru. No, no, stop already, stop it. Ah, <clears throat> uh, I've got a good idea. Stop it, Saiko-chan, please. You know what used to be popular? The scavenger hunt. Cut up the body and see if the cops can find the pieces. Don't you think this is a great idea? It's gonna get a million hits for sure. Isn't it dope? You can help me make the video interesting. You'll help, won't you? Hey, good luck. Come on, hey, what's up? Why won't you say anything? Oh, you're a goner already. Why, what a boring guy to the end. Then, tell this to the people on the other side. Life is cruel. Saika boredly kicked Yukimaru's lifeless body. Hey, don't sleep there. You're blocking my way. Next, she turned to Nana and pushed her down as hard as she could. Nighty night, Nana. Well, let's appreciate this uh, shot for a while. Looks really cool, if you ask me. Context is absurd and disgusting, but the picture is fine. I like it. Psycho. Oh no, it's, it's, here comes this part. Oh no. <sighs> Psycho stripped off Nana's clothes and roughly grabbed her exposed pale skin. Then she pulled out something bloody from her pocket. It's kind of soggy, but it still looks usable, doesn't it? Oh, I mean, why? why couldn't you just end it uh, with, on the scene with... Uh, with uh, Metaro, with myself, there in the treasure room. I think it would be a perfectly fine end, but now you have to continue it up this far. And now this is what we are at. Man. No. Oh, no. Good for you, Metaro. Now you can graduate from virginity. Oh god. Laughing as she said that, she screwed the bloody object into the girl. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it, that even those normies who are moved by love poems and sing love songs end up in a coffin all the same. Did you know, Nana, a dung? It's just a toy to satis satisfy your biological needs. 
you and him both, I think your frivolous talk of love is meaningless. That means you're just drunk on your own ego. Isn't that disgusting? The process has no meaning. Were you happy? What even is happiness? It doesn't last forever. It's only a matter of time before it breaks. Bad end. So sure, Beth. Well, quite a bad end, right? Okay, let's go on a more normal path, if if you can call this normal. Oh, didn't didn't find anything. Yeah, just just nothing, nothing. No treasure rooms, no treasure rooms. Let's go outside. I returned to the cave entrance and told the two waiting there about how it went. When they heard the result, they looked very disappointed. No, that depressed look on their faces, they didn't actually think there would be a treasure, did they? Why is it that I am surrounded by nothing but weirdos? Uh -huh. I mean, thanks. Thanks for all your help today, guys. I ha had a lot of fun too, and I'd love to help out again. Well, Psycho-chan, if you don't mind, right? I'm just glad I got to see something interesting. I'm sure it was a valuable experience. Thanks, Psycho-chan. Oh, of course, you can come again. Now that the filming is over, it's time to take a break. After seeing off Nana and Yukimaru as they he headed home, Saiko and I rested in the park. Phew, that was tiring. Why, it felt kind of awkward with so many people around. But I had a great time. Thanks, Metaro. With a smile, checked Saiko rubbed her nose. It's not the same face she makes on Usatube. I felt like that was her real smile, not a fake one, and I was kind of happy. What makes life worth living for you? Hmm, what kind of question is that? Suddenly putting me on the spot like that. As you can see, my reason for living is to make videos. And I'm not interested in anything else, to be honest. Cuckoo. I get more or less the response I expected. Right now I feel like she would answer anything that I asked. Then I guess I'll ask some deeper questions. Is it okay not to go to school? Well, I haven't been to school for a long time now. I can earn enough to eat without it. I'm not saying that I felt like my classmates didn't care for me at all. It's not like I don't like the teachers or the rest of the guys in my class. I'm just not that interested in other people. Do they ever criticize you or anything? Ah, of course, I'm not proud of it or anything. Of I'm not proud of it of anything, but they do it every day. It's gross, die, it's boring, it was better before, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Normally speaking, you'd think that anyone who stands out would get cancelled, get lots of haters, right? That's exactly right. 
People who go against the mainstream get hated and criticized, but in exchange they get the numbers. Speaking strictly from the bottom line, getting publicity through haters and trolls is just another business strategy. Bad rumors are easy to spread. On the other hand, marketing through bad press is a double-edged sword. It's only a temporary solution. Besides, with that method, not matter what you do, you'll always hurt someone. So I don't want to see that technique too much. Hey, take a look at that. Psycho pointed at, to an orange flower blooming in the flower bed. That's a flower called Hanabishiso, or the golden poppy. In the language of flowers it means hope, fortune and success. Therefore, Hanabishi channel. I hope my videos will lighten up a lot of people's lives. I hope it'll save a lot of people. I hope it'll make people laugh and forget about the hard times. Even if it's something really stupid, as long as it makes you laugh, that's fine with me. I think that that is all I can do right now. This was the first time I saw Psycho with such a serious expression. Back then I just wanted attention. I thought it was the only thing to me. I thought that with Usatube I could become popular and turn the tables on the people who made fun of me. I felt like I could finally enjoy the youth I'd always wanted. That's how I started out. Even someone like me might be needed by someone. Even I might be making someone, somewhere, smile. So I'm not going to stop making videos. I had no idea that such an expression laid behind Psycho's cheerful demeanor. Compared to that, what about me? By helping her out, I'm just trying to cover up my own incompetence. Just by being around her, I could feel like someone bigger, more important than I really am. I'm like a parasite latching on to her popularity. An insect-like, fair-weather kind of guy. Just a stupid ordinary guy who wants to flirt with her, get close to her, take advantage of her and become popular himself. The only reason I approached her was self-serving calculation. All for my own sake. To get her to spread word about my existence. I can't crawl up on my own strengths, so I have to clean on to clean to those with power. I don't have any personality, I don't have any talent, I don't have anything. Every time I see her charisma, I just realize how worthless I am. I could only stare at her profile with a serious expression, unable to say anything. Under the deep blue starry sky, illuminated by twinkling stars was a girl talking with a boy. Why don't I have any talent? If I had more strengths, I'd be able to turn the tables on those guys. I don't think so. You've got a lot of good points. But I don't really mean to turn the tables on them, that's probably just an excuse. I just want to find some meaning to my life, that's all. Something only I can have, something only I can do, something that no one else can any can imitate. You are not like me at all. Why? You are brimming with personality. You can be confident in yourself because you already have that power. There is a lot of people around you who will approve of you and they will appreciate you for who you are. Even if you say that, I can't help but to feel inferior. Like, why did my self-esteem go? I don't even give a second thought about my body getting hurt anymore. I guess when I die my consciousness will leave this body. That's... But that's all there is to it, if you think about it. 
I don't know what I wanted to do. So, you think that you're the only one who thinks that way? At first, I didn't really care whether anyone saw me or not, whether I was popular or not. I just did what I liked, what I liked, the way I liked, and it just happened to be popular. I've had people tell me to hurry up and get the next video out when I'm taking a break. They continued to escalate over time. I was so worried about getting views that I didn't even have time or the heart to have fun. All I wanted to do in the first place was make things that I enjoyed. There were those who tried to use me, those who approached me with self-interest, those who can't crawl up on their own strengths and try to drag others down with them, those who can take advantage of others to feel good about themselves. But even so, I don't blame them. Because they're struggling to survive, unlike myself. Unlike me, who's been wandering around looking for a place to die, those guys have a desire to live. I'm jealous of them, or of the people who want to live. They don't have the slightest idea what I'm going through. Sometimes I just wanted to end it all. But in the end, dying doesn't change what a fool you are. So even this doesn't solve the fundamental problem. Yes, it doesn't solve anything. But if you take action, you might be the only one who gets saved. Hey, Matsuri, I wonder if you are the, the same as me. And this is again Matsuri. Uh, yeah, don't remember the flower, but it's from Menheraflesia, my favorite ca character from there, actually. Jasmine, right. Well, maybe. Is dying scary? I don't know. I've tried many times as well, but I didn't die. Why did you want to die? Like my name, which is bright and cheerful, I'm supposed to be sunshine that brightens up the people around me with my smile. But that wasn't the truth. My heart was dark and stagnant and filthy beyond description. I felt a gap between the image people were pushing me on me and who I actually was, and I hated everything about it. I'm tired of living up to the expectations of those around me. So I wanted to disappear. So I'm waiting for the day someone I'll, I love will come and break me. That sounds nice, Matsuri. <laughs> sounds nice. <laughs> I wonder if I'll ever find someone who loves me enough to break me. Yeah, for sure, you'll find that person, I guarantee it. I sure hope so. Oh man. We're gradually getting closer and closer. Saika, who had closed her heart, gradually began to open up. Maybe we've already become friends. I don't need any friends. The Saika who said such stupid things is no longer here. Saturday. School's off today. The four members of Hanabish channel had come together to do a big project. Everyone was excited since yesterday, because Psycho said, I've got something special prepared for you. It's always been fun and interesting. The views are good, the sus subscriber count is growing quickly, and everything is going well. Even before starting, I could already feel it. 
that this was going to be the best video ever and the last will be flashy, stand out and get the buzz going to the next level. We'll ride wave after wave of publicity and carry us to ever greater heights. The things we did escalated and escalated. I think myself, Saiko, Nana and Yukimaru, all of us had reached a point where we couldn't stop. But it's just as well that it's escalating. That's our Hanabishi channel. As members, that's the way we roll. But I sure didn't think at the time that this would be our last video together. Not safe for work. I tried executing some evil tours. What? Yeah. Uh, is this matter? Uh, play the video or don't. Please choose your fate. Um. Is it safe for uh, YouTube? Like not also to you, but YouTube. What I am doing? Um. Okay, I went ahead, watched it, and uh, it's uh, not uh, too... Oh, there is a back button. Oh, oh, it's like a choice, actually. Let's press the back button. What is it going to do? I stopped short of playing the video. Just like that, I closed the page. Hey, why did you stop? Saika, who has her arms crossed, looks at me and clicks her tongue. Like so, I guess. Oi, are you trying to run away? He hurls accusatory words at me, cornering me. Unable to say anything, I looked at the desk chair I was sitting in. <laughs> like this, I guess. I kept my silence, and after a while she opened her eyes wide. Psycho grabs me by the chest and rolls me roughly on the floor. I can feel the cold concrete pressed against my cheek. I'm not gonna let you run away from me, okay? Your sins can only be atoned for by helping me. Psycho grabs me by the hair and lifts me up forcing me to sit in the chair again. Come on, see what you've done with your own eyes? Fearfully, I grabbed my PC's mouse, mouse with one hand and opened the video page I had just closed. After a bit of loading, the video played. On the monitor, countless human corpses were being displayed. No. I don't want to see it. Don't look away. Please stop. Don't don't make me, don't make me go through this again. Look, these guys are bleeding out in such beautiful colors. We've escalated too far. We care too much about views and attention. We were drunk on success and lost the ability to distinguish between right and wrong. Yeah, I got somewhere lost. Uh, yeah, somewhere between uh, one and two dead bodies. Maybe one was okay, but two dead bodies was a, like a bit too much. And now there is like a whole pile of dead bodies here. Steered away in the wrong direction somewhere along the road. Look, the view count keeps going up. I'm sure this is what everyone wanted to see, right? We've made a mistake that we can't take back. Hey, you think so too, don't you? Hey, Metero. So I've got to end this. At this rate, we'll hit one million in no time. Yeah, I wish we had done this earlier. What is this sound? 
I took out the cutter, which I hid in my pocket, and stabbed it into Saika's throat. G -g the blade dug into her skin, and I felt a dull sensation transmitted to my hand. I pulled it out, and a large amount of blood spurted out of her pale neck. Saika collapsed to the floor, holding her own neck. She was writing, writhing, and struggling hard. Uh, interesting, you're really quite something, aren't you? She looked at me menacingly and struggled to eke out a voice. Quickly, to turn the camera. I reached for the camera as, as instructed. I switched it on and turned to face her in a calm manner. Ha <laughs> ha Blood gurgles out of Psycho's mouth. <laughs> and yet she smiled as if in ecstasy. Even though the pain should be unbearable. For the sake of entertainment, I'll put my body on the line to make it interesting. That's what being an Usaturb is all about, isn't it? <laughs> my emotions are terribly cold right now. It's my fault that I couldn't stop her. To atone for this sin. This will be my burden, my cross to bear, until the very end. That's why I won't let your death be in vain. Be in vain. Pedent responsibility. Okay, and now the hardcore part. And it's uh, quite uh, gory images with uh, blood and everything, like even more than the previous part. So I think here you got your content warning if you need it. Just uh, click away. It's not, not a lot of content, but a lot of gore images. Hello, Usatube. The roll of the dice is four. God knows, Earth knows, I know, you know. And by the way, what, what, what is this? God knows, Earth? It's so silly, but I guess this is what makes it so popular, right? Welcome, it's a Miss Boston Usatuber Psycho, live on the Hanabishi channel, yo. Today, I've got something special planned for you, just like I told you. Everyone's holding their breath in anticipation, right? Oh, ha, ha, don't be in such a hurry. The fun's just starting. Listeners, I hope you have a great time today. Ta-da! We've got a special guest on the show today. Um, Nana was gagged and crying, struggling to say th something. Yukimaru's arms and legs were restrained, and he was tied to an iron chair. Yukimaru-kun, how are you feeling right now? Stop it, let me go! Oi, what the hell is this? This isn't what you said! Yeah, don't worry, it'll be alright. This is just a performance. Yes, so let's get started. Live stream, death game, yay! From now on, Yukimaru-kun, you've got one minute to confess to ALL the crimes you've committed so far. When you've said all you can, this device will stop, but 
If you don't finish within the time limit, the stake will go through your body, so hurry up as much as you can. Don't be silly. Who would play that game? Come on, come on. let me go quickly. Yukimaru-kun, don't say that. We are counting on you. Even if you have to put your body on the line to make the video interesting, that's what Usatube is all about. Well, without further ado, game start! Nana, from now on, don't listen to a word I say. You must absolutely not listen to a word I say. <laughs> Hearing Yukimaru's words, Nana nodded her head vigorously. The expression on her face was one of great anxiety. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine great anxiety in her eyes in this situation. Uh, uh. The thick skewer made its way into his body. Man. A long time ago, there was a classmate, a girl, forcibly stripped. Then, from the odd expression on his face, I can tell that the pain was so unbearable that he couldn't even speak. Uh, she was uh, forcefully been. Uh, he, she was forcefully having an intercourse. Let's say it like that. Okay. The tip of the skewer flew out of his mouth and Yukimaru died. Hmm? Tears spilled from both of Nana's eyes. She was frantically struggling, but couldn't move. What a pitiful sight. Oh no, what a shame, time's up. He couldn't clear it in time. That's too bad, he was so close too. So let's switch it up and let's see who, has the, ne who the next challenger is. It's Nana-chan. The camera turned to face the girl. Psycho remove Nana's gag. Yay, Nana-chan. Tell me, how are you feeling? Oh, hick, sniff. Hick. What is hick? I guess it's also some kind of a sound. Oh? She's crying so much she can't talk. I'm sorry, but I can't wait for her to stop crying, because this is a live stream. Nana-chan's challenge is to escape from the Iron Maiden. Yay! Can she escape with her hands and feet bound? Will Nana make it out of there in one piece? Let's show everyone your brilliant illusions. In one minute, countless spikes will fly inside the Iron Maiden, so be careful. Well then, game start. Nana-chan, do your best. With a snap of her fingers, the Iron Maiden's countless spikes began to slowly rotate. The spikes made a creaking sound and dug inward. Why? Hey, why are you doing this? Oh? Answer me! Without regard to the tears flowing out of her eyes, she shouted angrily at Psycho. Ha, huh, why are you asking something so obvious? The more interesting the video is, the more happy the viewers are. Even if I have to put my body on the line, I'll bring them the best entertainment. That's what being a Usatuber is all about, isn't it? No, 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 stop this, stop already. Nana suddenly starts screaming at the camera as if she understood her words wouldn't reach Psycho. Don't kill me, I don't want to die, I don't want to die yet, you understand, right? Hey, why won't you say anything? Why are you silent? 
since a long time ago we uh yeah a red liquid spurted out from between the gaps in the iron maiden nana's eyes became dull and strength left her body uh time's up Unfortunately, it looks like Nana-chan had no intention of escaping. Everyone, let's give a round of applause for Nana-chan for putting her body on the line and making the video so interesting. Oh man. That was a lot, wasn't it? Yeah, by the way, this ghost girl just uh, in and out and no repercussions. It was a scene from a long time ago. In front of me stood a boy with silver hair and a girl with black hair. They are my childhood friends, my neighbors from when I was small, my friends. The two of them are happily kicking a certain boy in the leg. He remained in a small huddle and did not move at all. Blood ran scarlet from his bruised skin and it looked painful. Maybe he's already dead, a boy, or maybe it was a girl. Because he had very short hair and almond eyes, he looked like he could be either, so I couldn't remember it well. He was rolled on the floor and his expression was completely unreadable from his eyes, which were hidden by his shaggy hair. The two continued to assault him, but it only became worse. He doesn't even try to look at those two people. He's looking straight at me, who's watching from the back. I don't know what he's thinking from his empty eyes. I wonder how I looked in his eyes. A coward? Or maybe a loser? In any case, it was probably not a good impression. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't a good impression. And I believe that this, like, uh, stand, standing by a person received a lot more hate because he did not intervene he did not interject and all the hate that was piling up from other people who actually did harm will uh, spill out on this person who was just a stand buyer well in my in my head this is usually how it plays out at that moment his mouth opened slightly I can't hear what he was saying, but now, now I know what you're talking about. You guys, I'll never forgive you. The two childhood friends didn't even notice those words. They were too busy hurting him. 
but maybe I had noticed it somewhere in my mind. That one day he'll come back for us with a vengeance. At first I didn't know why they appeared in front of me again. It, did, it didn't look like they had reflected on their actions. I see. So they forgot about my existence and continued to live a happy life. You've ruined a person's life and now you're living without a care in the world. I wonder why we met again. Maybe it's best for both of us if we stay out of each other's lives. Did you come to hurt me again? Did you come to take away my only hope for living again? But that wasn't it. When I realized God's intentions, I couldn't stop the goosebumps. It was fate that brought us here. Fate. I was given a chance to take my revenge, an opportunity to bring divine punishment upon those two. Thank you for giving me a chance. I finally cleared my mind. I've exercised the nightmares of my past, and today I can finally walk away free. Time that has been stopped for so long is starting to move again. Finally, I can live my life on my own, without being bound by anyone or anything. I bet those two didn't even remember me. They're the ones who took away my will to live, and they can't even remember me. Isn't that ridiculous? They must have died thinking. I didn't do anything wrong, without knowing why. Hey, you too. Don't you think so? And you, what do you think? Unlike those guys, you didn't do anything directly. You just stood by and watched. Remember? Don't tell me you forgot. Do you think it's a sin to just watch? If you don't get your hands dirty, if you don't step into the circle, even if you don't stop them. Not that I'm blaming you for that. I'm just trying to figure out how best to execute those guys. I'd be happy if you think about it with me. In exchange, I won't let you sit on the sidelines this time. Changing at the speed of light at a dizzying pace is a network we call the Internet. This is an electronic world where anyone can spread their wings. One sells themselves, one sells a virtual body and voice, one creates something, one gives life to the forms and shapes in their head. Each of us grows our ego in any way possible. A place where everyone is a star, and a place where everyone is supporting character. Even though I got the numbers, even though I got the name recognition, there was no one around me who I could trust. Not family, not friends, not lovers. I don't want to get involved with anyone, as I avoided those who tried to take advantage of me and those who approached me with calculated intent before I knew it. I was all alone. Unknowingly, I had shut myself off from the outside world. Eventually, I realized it. Fame and loneliness come as a set. Loneliness isn't horrible, but I'm not too keen on isolation. It was just the right thing to do. It was necessary. And then, one day, we met. You are someone who helped me make the best entertainment ever. Someone who will accept me and walk with me to the end. It changed me from thinking that I couldn't ever understand anyone. You gave me a chance to change myself. You taught me that no matter how deep the depths of despair, you can crawl back up. To bury the abominable past will conduct a ritual to let us face the future. You are going to bear witness to this ceremony. On the front lines, with a camera. Whether it's important or trivial, you always capture my image like this without changing. Thank you. The one who'll break me, my beloved. Oh, so romantic.
Mm, dreams come true. We close the curtains with the greatest finale. Happy end, million achieved. Oh, very happy end. Do, 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 Oh yes, very happy end, guys, right? Mm, very light uh, visual novel, yes, 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 mm, mm -hmm. Got out of this visual novel part with absolutely no loss of my brain cells. Mm. Was perfectly normal part. With... Uh, no abundance of sexualized violence whatsoever. Mm. Well, uh, nevertheless, uh, thank you for uh, witnessing this part with me. Uh, and as usual, uh, like, uh, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. Share, share if you have something to share. Have a great day. Bye bye.